When a woman, when a woman loves, she loves for real. <laughs> what's good, man? What's good, what's good, what's good? It's your boy, Puerto Rico, also known as FCMD for I'm Chasing Money. Be the gang, shout out to all the bro. You know you started this, but we gonna keep it pushing. You know, we locked in like Twitter, though, so we had to come back with another one. Man, <clears throat> sorry to lose my voice. <clears throat> uh, 12, 12 o'clock, my, my girl birthday. Shout out, to, shout out to you, baby. Happy birthday. You know, I ain't gonna disclose her age, you know, but, you know, we're grown, so we do grown things, you know. Uh, <laughs> not to hit on that, man. This is a little dirt therapy session. Pilco, Pelico, I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Hey, when well, we up, though, we celebrate, bro. I got the notification. They said, hey, dirt drop. I thought it was gonna drop. Yesterday, he was like, hey, keep playing or some shit like that. I'm gonna drop one on you bitches, and he dropped one on those bitches. Oh, we. Yeah, nigga, but hey, I ain't worried no little hold on. You gonna talk to me, gangsta. We gonna, yeah. We gonna have to work that out, though, dick. You heard me? But hey, I'm fucking with you, though, dick. Hey, I fuck with your boy, too. Hey, I was, hey I'm excited to see what the fuck this nigga talking about. Especially when, he's, when he mentioned the therapy session. You know, he been on a whole new wave, whole new tip. And uh, him as a person, I think it's just, uh, like, I really love the progression of Dirk as a person. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, I feel like that's dope. Not just speaking of him as, as from an artist standpoint, him as a person just really progresses. So, that's that's always good to see. Um, especially when, you know, like, these artists are the people that our kids look to. You know what I'm saying? Or like, our kids mimic. Uh, hits John Morant, right? Uh, so, like, man, like, the image you put out, the the... The, the artistry that you display it impacts people day to day lives so just remember that you know and be and be, be aware of what you say I've obviously talked to a fucking bunch but since you're here make sure that you like comment and subscribe also if you guys are interested in collaborating email me below <laughs> email me at the email below and uh, we can you know discuss some you know opportunities that you know could possibly benefit both of our brands so uh, without no further ado let me shut the fuck up and let's get to it <laughs> I mean, you ever get the call and be like, man, I don't know the work who just like fucking breathe, bro. Like, fuck. Man, I'm so happy to be in this bitch. I'm ready to go home. You hear me? <laughs> like, nigga, I was just glad to be out of that fucking, you know, wherever you just come from. You hear me? So, nigga, I know that Excel shit. Nigga, that's like that. <sighs> Finally in this bitch, dog. You know, let's, you know, let's get to what we trying to get to. You hear me? Good morning, Dirk. I hope you're doing as well as possible under the circumstances. Can you tell me where was your mind when you heard the news of your friend Vaughn passing away on November 6, 2020? I just really noticed, man. They got Alicia Keys in this bitch narrate this shit. <laughs> Girl, you're not Morgan Freeman, but I still love your fire, man. And then the loss of your brother on June 6, 2021. Wow. That must have been incredibly devastating. I can only... That guy, that sound like a robot. So emotionless. Maybe that's the point. I don't know. Therapy session, but... Damn, you think a therapist show a little bit more about you. I ain't been a therapist, but I would hope so. You know, show some kind of passion. Imagine how painful that must have been. It's been a year. And I want to know how you feel about the rat beef on top of all the chaos. Despite all this, you continue to be a warrior, a leader in the rap industry, and the voice in your community. And I want you to feel completely safe in this room. Nobody can hurt you. It's okay to express your vulnerabilities and emotions. This is a judgment-free zone. And I encourage you to let your emotions out and express yourself freely. Take a deep breath and focus on the present moment. 
Today is May 26th. Remember that you don't have to go through this alone. I'm here to listen. You have the voice in this room. I want to hear from Dirk Banks. It's actually not May the 26th, but I'm assuming that's the actual audio for the song, the title therapy session that's going to be on this album. Since May 26th is the actual date that he was scheduled to drop. And I'm assuming maybe that's the artist he was hitting at for Clarence since, you know, he was waiting on an artist to get back to Clarence. So, yeah, because he said he was planning on dropping on that day, but he changed it in the academic interview. So. Okay, so that was therapy session. This is well, how in the fuck you pronounce coat. I'm gonna just call this bitch coat. Old block. <laughs> they about to tell that bitch down, ain't they? They scared to come outside. I know why, because they die for sure. 2010, when the time, Pelion, I got a master coat. Shadow room with my cousin, I snuck and told him I had a gun. I do believe in my spirits, can't hop on the spirit that fly too long. Yo, too nigga, trying to paint a picture of me and never last too long. Not too much on violence, but now I'm silent, but I'm glad you gone. If you got a name and you stun on business, you can't be the first to fall. Bro got a body, but Brody got four bodies, he the first to toll. On my back is a burden, bro in the car, I did it on purpose. They in suburban, bro in the track and he hop on the curb then. Brody moved back, cause Brody started lacking just off his girlfriend. I was stacking, had to sleep on the mattress, the game ain't perfect. Take him out the slide, he can't even focus thinking what his girl did. I can't even lie, and I love the guys, and we made the real spin. On the jail call, but we still risk it, cause he got emerging. Never post the guns that's really involved, cause they lurking. Yeah, that be getting me, man. If you gonna post a gun, you gonna be all on social media with a gun. Try to use a gun that's been that's been committed in a crime. That's just fucking stupid. I'm just being honest. Why would you post and blast a gun? They're showing serial numbers and all this shit uh, when that gun is hot. Come on, man. That makes sense. Where I'm from, you don't get old. I know some killers that told. I know secrets that nobody knows. Pray for me, I'm on the road. Give it all up for my bro. When you keep me your mouth closed, I ain't know what to get next. They scared to come outside. I know the years when you be scared to pop out for days. Back in the day when it was 7.50 minimum wage. I was bad, mama sent me to Michigan to get out the way. I ain't know what to say. I knew he was dead when they put out the tape. That shit was a shame. Damn, is he talking about mud? Like he, like, he knew he was dead when he pulled up, when they put out the tape. That's fucked up. To see your homie get killed or your, your cousin or family, anybody that you love get killed on camera, bro. That shit fucked up. Get out the way. I ain't know what to say. I knew he was dead when they put out the tape. That shit was a shame. He died right in front of me. Auntie said I'm a snake. Ain't mention Lil Bill name, see Eric said I'm strange Auntie Googie lost her daughter, call my phone back, I ain't know what to say Ask the kids who visit, they mamas never did it like I'm the one who be playing See Brody, that was my man, but he let him get in his head what I'm saying Like how I'm a sacrifice Vaughn, I'm the only nigga reach for his hand Yeah, they had a lot of niggas going around saying that, oh, he sacrificed Vaughn and all this other shit Like nigga was making more from Vaughn alive than this nigga dead, that shit's stupid as fuck but I will say his career is on a whole other trajectory uh, if he did sacrifice for us. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. If he did sacrifice that nigga, nigga, that was a major chance to move, my boy. Because, whoo, you have, you know, nigga, you ain't even going this way. You just going that way, nigga. Like, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a good-ass trajectory. You know, uh, I might need to sacrifice somebody. Can I sacrifice some real if that's the case? Nah, I'm just fucking with you. I ain't selling my soul, dick. You know what's up with me. We gonna get it the hard way. The hey, hey, the, if that's the only way it take, dick, then hey, give it to it the hard way. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> I didn't realize what the fuck I was saying, man. Correct myself, nigga. I'm in this bitch tripping. <laughs> Why I lie like I ain't give her money for the funeral I'm like damn I ain't see his kids yet same time They probably bleed with their hand I ain't make a statement for the whole case Like how I'ma tell them my man They ain't never That's why I can't be no gays Not in real life <laughs> 
Because some shit just don't add up, bro. If the police is investigating your brother and your homie murder, and you got information, and you're not in a position to kill this nigga and get away with it, Man, that nigga over there, bro, he did it with this gun, you know, at this time, you know, all that shit. You hear me? I'm just saying, man, I'm on, it's gonna, it gotta make sense to me, bro. And the street shit don't make sense to me. Cause the rules always change depending on who giving them and the situation that is in. Like, the fuck? Always changing. Like, shit is not consistent at all in the streets. The streets is a myth, like old boy said, man. Enough evidence, tell him freeze who I think can. I call Fat Fat to talk to the kid. I don't think so, so I know that he did. Life insurance, money, whole lot of ends. So when I'm dead, that never miss me. Man, if you guys do not, if you guys are, if you're an adult and you do not have life insurance and you have a family or an estate, which is a family of somebody you want to be taken care of after you pass away, uh, then you are doing a disservice to them right now as we speak. By not having life insurance. If something happens to you, how are they gonna pay for the barrel? How are, gonna, how are they gonna continue paying the bills? You know, this stuff you gotta think about, man. Life ain't forever, especially this life that we live in today, bro. Any moment, things can, you know, you can be gone. You gotta make sure that people don't look after the ones that you love, the ones that you take care of. You know, when I leave here, my three girls are good, bro. You should have enough money to pay off the house pay off, you know, any vehicles and live off for, for at least five to 10 years. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bro, you gotta, you gotta play the hand. I'm trying to, you know, push it even further. You wanna keep pushing that, you know what I'm saying? To make sure that everything good, everything's solid, bro, for real. Oh, no, I don't why they hate me so much. Got it back for revenge, so what? Why they lay on my name so much? Why I be with the gang so much? Why they do it for the fame so much? Keep telling him slaying on them. Oh, that's right. He is Muslim. Aham, ah, ah, alhamdulillah. If you get it, you get it, man. Alhamdulillah. They be lying on blogs to get us some views. Fell out with everyone because the sun called asking nigga for shoes. I was outside moving and forgot. I ain't trying to make an excuse. Try to tell Vernie that I forgot about him because he's still in the zoo. Could have been came around. I was in therapy. One trying to find my move. Like, I don't want to fuck with you, bro. Hey, it really be like that though, bro. Like sometimes forgiveness ain't gotta be in your heart. If it's fuck me, then it's fuck you too. And sometimes you gotta stand on that, you hear me? But I always try to say, if you can amend whatever you can amend, man, do that, bro. Hatred should not be in your heart. Cause the only way to elevate is to levitate, baby. Yes, you hear me? And you can't levitate with shit pulling you down. In the past, you know, past transgressions that haven't been healed or resolved that pulls you down, that's considered to be dead weight. And we don't have dead weight, we cut that shit off. You understand what I'm saying? But you gotta address it. And that's how you develop emotional intelligence. Hey man, I'm just spitting, bro. Hey, it's late, you know, I'm about to go to bed, so my mind is, you know, peaked out with this dirt on his old, you know, he talking to talk, you know? I say money for funerals, even though they going to hell. For all them that they kill. You know, I'm part of my brother now. That's fucked up, but that's honest as shit. Uh, <laughs> them niggas definitely going to hell for killing all those people that they kill. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love them niggas, though. They're my niggas, you know, regardless, wrong, wrong or right. Definitely most is wrong. I'm going to fuck with you. And that's why he said he paid for the funerals. They going to hell, but it's still my brothers. You feel me? And, you know, shit, right? Ever, 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 I'm going to hell. You know I'm part of my brother now. I'm not oh, ain't going to hell, too. <laughs> Excuse me. For supporting and all that bullshit. <laughs> ever, ever going to tell. Like, why am I have a baby on my bitch? I'm different. I'm not crazy. Man, Brody died because he beat up a goofy man. It's nothing about Asian. Why you praising niggas who told on Brody and them man? And Brody died cause he beat up Ew. Like why I'ma have a baby on my bitch? I'm different, I'm not crazy Man, Brody died cause he beat up a goofy man This shit nothing about age Why you praising niggas who told on Brody and them man? You nigga too crazy When thing died, a nigga died, another nigga died We thangin' You 
bitch saying it. Told me your black ain't Dang that Nothing about it. Baby on my bitch I'm different I'm not crazy Man Brody died Cause he beat up a goofy man This shit Nothing about Asian Bruh And he said This shit ain't got Nothing to do with Asian Cause everybody was like Man It was because Asian was fucking With young boy And all this other shit He said They ain't got shit to do With that bitch You hear what I'm saying Whatever they Ain't got shit to do with her You feel me Like this is just Shit Vaughn was woo, Putting the paws on him But hey If you in that street Like you street Lil' Tim did what he was supposed to do. Put that iron on his ass. You put the paws on him, but hey, Lil' Tim said, fuck it, I'm gonna put that iron on your ass, nigga. Hey, and he got iron on him. You know what I'm saying? Von, 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 was, Von was cold as fuck, nigga. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I still be bumping that nigga, bro. Damn, bro, that shit was fucked up. That's a shitty situation for my mama. But what is what are you to do? Nigga, beat my ass? Man, if I'm getting my ass beat, bro, and I'm done with my partners, and we surrounded by 30 niggas, and my nigga got the, my nigga got the, you know, yeah on him, then bitch, you better, yeah, you better stand over a nigga. On me. Especially that nigga that's beating my ass. Nigga, it came out of nowhere. That nigga, pop, pop, pop. Ooh, in your shit. Man, fuck that. You know, yeah. But make sure that you don't hit any, you know, make sure you don't hit civilians. You know what I'm saying? So, man, that was just a shitty situation all around. But he did what he's supposed to do. And I ain't even in the street. But I'm just saying, just speaking from a regular civilian standpoint, if I was out with my homies or my cousins or something, niggas just came out of there and started beating my ass. Nigga, you better kill that nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Or get that nigga off me. Something. Fuck. Shit. Crazy niggas who told them booty new man, you knew too crazy. When thing dad a new dad, another new dad, we thing. Nah, I ain't gonna self snitch, but he definitely snuff snitching. <laughs> right? You look at that, they ain't gonna tell him himself, but they gonna tell him himself. Cause you definitely just said, when thing died, nigga died, and another nigga died. So, make that make sense, Mr. Dirk. Granted, I know you're not saying that you killed him, but the way that you're talking, it sure sound like you had something to do with it, buddy. Ain't nigga told me your black ain't like them boys who gays. When you think about it, you the same. It's you shit, you nigga is crazy. When I'm in the rack of ain't going to Tay Town, I'ma slide on Damon. What you doing in the trenches, buddy? When they want you dead and they know that you famous. Morning time, I get on my knees, I pray to Allah. Forgive me for the shit that I did. And let me be closer to my kin. Can you protect all my friends? Bro, that was hard. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. Uh, I love the fact that it wasn't, you know, like he was him really trying to like clear up one to clear up a lot of shit, but two, like just really just get some shit off his chest. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes like we hold shit in for so long, bro, that it turns into a form of not just anger, but resentment towards the situation. And it could be a situation that we can easily heal from, but because we don't address it, I mean, we let just let that shit just sit, you know, and just dwell in our spirit. It fucks up your whole energy, bro. Your whole energy, everything about you, you know, it gets fucked up because you let the energy in and you didn't address it. You feel what I'm saying? So like real life, real life, definitely wanna, you know, get those, get that thing addressed, but. Man, like Dirk, I feel like this, this, this project might be one of the ones. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely gonna skip therapy session though. I could have did without that. But uh, the rest of this sound is so far already. All my life is a J Cole song that you're featured on. Uh, but <laughs> other than that, the album is uh, pretty much put on by you. <laughs> oh my god, that's so crazy. J Cole killed your ass for that, bro. You should have been like, hey man, let me redo my verse real quick. Let me come up with something else. Uh, let me add another verse that's harder. That shit crazy. That boy Cole's on that bitch though. For real, for real. <laughs> on me. But hey man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Since you're here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bro, you stay this long 
hey, if you got a brand and you want to collaborate, reach out to the kid, man. And you can do that by going to the description below and contacting me by email at info at Summerland Kennel. By the way, I'm also also have a uh, an, an exotic Frenchie uh, Merle that carries the long hair G up for sale. So if you guys are interested, you know, please get at me. She's going for 15k. Uh, that will also include a stir service with a full fluffy male. So hey, we hey, it's only up. You trying to get your program started off right? You know, you get your program. You know, it's like yeah, what the yeah. Hey, to hit your boy up, man. 15k start bid price comes with the stud service. It already comes with the stud service. And, and she'll be in heat within the next four to six months. So it's not like you gotta wait two years for her to go on a second or third heat cycle. Hey, hit me up, man. Hey, I got you, for sure. With all that being said, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Hey, but until I come back, back, back to back, I ain't got nothing else to say, so that's just that, man. I know he hit there for fuck out of here, boy.